All right, guys, today we're going to talk about how to use Coin Tracker for taxes, how to use Coin Tracker for crypto taxes, how to do your taxes with Coin Tracker. And in the process, we're going to take a look at how to add a wallet to Coin Tracker and how Coin Tracker works. Now, this video is really inspired by my last video, how to do your taxes on Coinbase, a full guide. So if you haven't checked out that video, or use Coinbase, then I think that video is worth taking a look at because all of us have to do our taxes when it comes to crypto as well. And since the area is very gray right now, using Coin Tracker would actually help simplify the process a whole lot because not only can you do your taxes for Coinbase, but you could do it for all the other exchange you use as well, sort of like Binance, Gemini, FTX. Now today we're gonna take a look at how to do the taxes with Coin Tracker on Coinbase and Gemini, but adding another wallet, adding another exchange can be just as easy as adding an exchange for Coinbase and Gemini as well. So take what you learn here, apply it to whatever you use for an exchange and as easy as a click of a button, you will get your taxes done at a relatively really quick speed. Now, before we get started, can I ask you for one favor? In order to help the YouTube algorithm push this video out to more people and to help our channel grow, can you please smash the like and subscribe button? That will really help me as well push more content out so that you guys can get more education on what you need to know on what projects to get into. Now, if you got that done, let's jump into the video. All right, guys, so what you're looking at here is Cointracker.io. You can use the link in the description or the pinned comment that I have there with my affiliate link, and you can get to Cointracker here. So basically what Cointracker does is that with you adding your wallet onto Cointracker, they actually track your crypto portfolio and actually do the taxes for you. So you get started. You can have it added to your computer with the App Store, with Google Play Store, but I really just use the web version because I don't really need to look at my taxes all the time. So you can track a crypto portfolio, take a look at who uses Coin Tracker. There's a bunch of people that uses Coin Tracker. And like I said, they're integrated with many exchanges like Trust Wallet, MetaMask, Binance.us. Now, the thing about Coin Tracker is that you have a free side, but the free doesn't really do anything. I mean, the most you have to get at least is hobbyist, which starts at $59. And that only does up to 100 transactions. So if you need more transactions than that, you'll probably have to go with premium. So if you have traded at least any time in the year, then you're probably going to have more than 1,000 transactions, especially if you use a bot to trade like I have. So you can go ahead and choose the one that works for you. And you can take a look at what comparisons that they have, what features that they have in comparison. So with that said, let's actually jump into the back end of what you have in the dashboard. All right, guys, so this is the dashboard. You could see that here's my portfolio. I have my crypto taxes here, all the recent transactions that I did and all the assets. So this basically consolidates all I have on Gemini, on Coinbase and on Celsius. And if you had click see details here, that actually gives you a big breakdown of what's taxable income or not. You could see they tax it by airdrops, forks, mining, interest and etc. And you could see your capital gains in the short term and in the long term, your transactions that you've done. You could see that I've done almost 2000 transactions, which is why I needed that big plan that I need. And here are all my wallets and my crypto wallets and my imported wallets. So I had some from BlockFi. I think the best you need to do is actually with exchanges. I actually, for all of these Exodus wallets, I actually don't use Exodus anymore. So I probably should get rid of that. With crypto wallets, it's difficult because there is some manual labor involved. But with exchanges, you basically just have to set it once and forget it. So that's what I like about it. But here are all your tax reports. You can generate it once you have paid for your plan. And you can just take these reports and send it off to your accountant or actually they have tax filing software. Now, I don't use any of these tax filing software because well, I used to use TurboTax before, but since I got an account, I don't use that anymore. So you could go ahead and see the instructions for each of these to see how it works. But literally, you just download these forms, generate them, that should get sent to your email, you could download them, and you could send it to your accountant if you have one. So it's a one click easy button. So if you actually scroll to the top here to your toolbar or whatever you call it, the navigation bar, you click wallets, you can actually go add a wallet. And if you click wallets, they'll actually bring you to all your wallets where you can actually as well add a wallet here. So when you go to add wallet, they'll actually bring you to this place where you can add a new wallet. And you could see that they'll give you the wallet type and you could type in whatever 
exchange you use. If you use Gemini, they'll actually change the instructions here of what you have to do. So we're gonna go back to Coinbase Pro and now we have the instructions for how to add your coinbase pro account now with coinbase pro what you want to do is always use api sync don't use the file import because that is the manual way of doing this use api sync to let them grab whatever they need from coinbase pro so what you do is you open the coinbase pro page which is here and you click new api key and then you could put in the api key nickname just call this coin tracker and with permissions i believe they say use view so what you can do is you can copy the passphrase here and put that passphrase there and then you can click create api key and then you'll enter your two-step verification from your authenticator app and once you get to this page you can put in this api secret Put that over here and go back here, click done. You can actually take this, which is your key and put that there and click add account. So after you've added your account, it will say something like Coinbase Pro account has been added. It may take a few minutes to synchronize and then you just let it synchronize. So you could see that over here, my Coinbase Pro is updating. At any time you can click sync wallet to sync all your wallets. So I'll let you do that yourself but let's take a look at Gemini. So in the same fashion, what you wanna do is go click add wallet, and then you wanna go here and type in Gemini. Now Gemini gives you different sorts of instructions. Tell you to open up the Gemini API settings, which will you will sign in and open up that setting. So once you're on the Gemini API settings page, you wanna do the same thing as what we did on Coinbase Pro. Create API key for the scope, you would select primary, and then you click next. And then they will give you your API key name, the key, and the secret. So what you want to do here is we're doing things with taxes. So what we really want to check is the auditor setting. That's what they advise you to do here as well. And once you've done that, you want to go here, copy your API key, put that over here, copy your account secret, your API secret, and put that over here. And then you go back to Gemini, click the API secret acknowledge, and then you create your API key. And then you could wait a minute or something for that to sync up with the system. And once you're done that, you can go ahead and click add account here. And boom, you will have your Gemini account added. Now, if you want to remove an account, then it's as easy as clicking one of these. So let's click this Coinbase Pro that we have. Go down to this arrow here and you can remove that exchange. And then this will remove exchange once you click the red button. And that means your Coinbase Pro account is deleted. And again, to avoid duplicates, that's what you wanna do, right? So one thing I want you to catch is to not add multiple duplicate wallets because what that'll actually do is increase your transaction amount. And remember, you are only allowed like a thousand transactions or something based on the pricing, which you can check out here. So if you add, let's say, another Gemini account like I did, then that'll actually duplicate the number of your transactions. So let's say if you had a thousand transactions, that'll make it 2000. And then it'll say that if you were using a hobby as well, that would already be exceeded. But I'm using premium right now, which is 3000 transactions. So let's use the example of I had 3000 transactions from Gemini, right? And I only have Gemini exchange. If I add a duplicate, that'll actually make it 6000. So what you'll have to do actually is you'll have to delete that exchange, go to remove exchange, and resync your wallet in order to get through that. But other than that, that's pretty neat. I looked at the taxes. I looked at using TurboTax and H&R Block. All you need to do is actually see their instructions. They have pretty nice instructions here and a video for TurboTax on how to get things started, how to file your taxes with TurboTax. They have an integration. So all you really have to do is click a button in your TurboTax and they'll import all your info from Cointracker. So you don't have to connect your exchanges to TurboTax. I don't think you can do that anyways. You connect it to Coin Tracker, Coin Tracker connects to TurboTax, and then you file your taxes that way. Similarly, can be said for H&R Block, they actually have a very nice guide for you to follow here, which I won't bore you in this video because this is a really simple guide. So you can go look at these two instruction manuals and do your taxes that way if you use H&R Block or TurboTax. So with that said, guys, remember that you can always use the link that I have in pinned comment or the description below with A equals course hack to get started with Cointracker. So make sure you do that to make it easy to do your taxes 
for this year and future years with crypto. All right, guys, so that's all I got for today on how to use Coin Tracker to do your taxes. I find that it's a really good application to use with exchanges like Coinbase and Gemini if you could use it for your own exchange in order to do your taxes. It'll make tax season much more easier for you. Other than that, remember to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and remember, guys, continue working, continue building, continue inspiring. See you next time.